In this video, we are going to explore the mean function in MATLAB. So without wasting time, let's get started. So in step number one, we are going to create a matrix on which we are going to do all the processing. So this is our matrix A and we are going to do all the calculations on this matrix. Now I'll show you how to implement this mean function to find the mean value. So this is our B variable which is equal to mean of A. A is our matrix of which we want to find the mean value and then we are supposed to determine the dimension. This DIM represents the dimension along which we want to do the mean computation. Let's say we write it in this way and we'll make it comment. So here this B and C they both are going to find the mean of A but in one the dimension is 1 and in another the dimension is 2. So 1 computes the mean of each column and 2 computes the mean of each row. Now let's execute this command and see how the result looks like. So this is our matrix A. This is the answer of B. So in B we compute the mean of each column. Right? 1 represents mean of each column and 2 represents mean of each row. So 7 plus 1, 8 plus 4, 12 and the average of that 12 is 4. So we get 4 here, 5 here and 6 here. So it's column wise average and the C where we have 2 and that gives us mean of each row and that is 2, 5 and 8. Now what if you want to calculate the overall mean of this entire matrix and how to do that? For that also you are supposed to write the mean command but in little bit different manner. So this is how we are going to find the overall mean of the matrix. This is our variable overall mean. This is our command mean, mean of A of all rows and columns and now let's execute. So it is B, C and overall mean is 5. So it's quite simple and easy to use. So it was quick short tutorial on MATLAB functions. If you want to learn about any function in MATLAB then write that function in comments below. So if you have enjoyed the video hit the like button and we'll see you into the next video.